Hey, boat friends, I got a special one here today. This is a Laker that is gone but not forgotten. This is the J.A.W. Eigelhart, built in 1936. She's 500 feet in length. And I first want to thank uh, Eric from Lafarge Cement for allowing me to come down on their pier and check this beautiful ship out. Now, keep in mind, she is in the water. This is the frozen obviously Lake Superior, but she is still operational. As you can see, she is being used for storage here at Lafarge for cement so they can on and offload her with the cargo. But let me give you a little information. I wanted to go down here on the ice, but it's just a little sketchy. I don't want to, I don't want to take a chance. This is Superior, Wisconsin, the Lafarge plant. Take a look here. On the other side, you have Park Point. That's Duluth over there. Give you a little better idea of where I'm at. Beautiful sunny morning, very cold, eight below zero, 20 below zero wind chill. You have the superior entry over on this side. Quite a few people out here in the bay fishing right here on the ice. But let's get back to the star of the show, this beautiful, beautiful ship. I mean, take a look at this anchor right down there in the ice, still operational. So again, this is the oldest ship on the Great Lakes that is still operational. Even though she's not sailing, she's in the water and being used. Um, 500 feet in length, built in 1936 by the Sun Shipbuilding and Dry Dock Company in Pennsylvania. Her original name was the Pan Amico, and she's had a few names ever since. Uh, another thing that's very interesting about her is the name J.W. Eigelhart. That is from Joseph Alexander Wilson Eigelhart, who was a member of the board of directors for the National gypsum company and she was originally built in 1936 as an ocean tanker for the pan american petroleum company in 1964 she was converted to a self-unloading cement carrier 1965 renamed the jw eigelhart and the way you see her right now which i'll give you a little more uh, from a video standpoint here in a second just wanted to relay some information. She was laid up on November 5th, 2006 for the use as a cement storage barge here at Lafarge. One steam turbine engine that produces 4,400 horsepower. And uh, Lafarge is a subsidiary of Wholesome Group. They have about 7,000 employees worldwide, but uh, what a fascinating vessel. Old school Laker. You can't get uh, more old school than this, being that it's the, the oldest ship in operation here on the Great Lakes, built in 1936. Let me get a little closer. Again, just want to thank Eric for allowing me on the pier. Very cold day here right off of Lake Superior. Take a look more at this self-unloading and offloading process that they have. You better look at the ship, 500 feet in length. Just amazing. She is gone from service on the lake, but she is not forgotten. But I wanted you all to take a look and see this beautiful, beautiful laker. Amazing vessel. Give you a shot a little more at the Lafarge plant here. Beautiful day, very cold, but here you go. The J.A.W. Eigelhart. Let's go up a little closer, take a look at this massive chain. What a vessel.
and there she is. Now you know and you can find her on the map. Just look up Lafarge, Superior, Wisconsin, and you will see her there on a satellite sitting here. Still providing service. 1936 to right now. 2023. Amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Plenty of live streams will be coming up here in the 2023 shipping season from Duluth. So go check out some more of the videos that I have and uh, subscribe. I look forward to you checking out some of the live streams. So from Superior, Wisconsin, on Lake Superior, have a great rest of the day.